Go ahead, Namish. Thanks so much. First question is back on the border. There were lawyers who interviewed some children that were in facilities. The children described sleeping on the floor, being hungry, not being, not seeing the sun for days. How is that acceptable for the Biden administration to keep children in those sorts of conditions, given the fact that you said you, you were an administration that was going to be more humane than the previous one? Well, these, let me first say this is um, heartbreaking. Uh, it's a very emotional issue for a lot of people, um, and it's very difficult and challenging. And obviously, these TBP facilities are not made for kids. So one of the reasons, uh, or a driving reason why, uh, the president has pushed to take all of the actions that I outlined earlier when Phil asked the question is because we want to expedite getting these kids out of these CBP facilities as quickly as possible. And that's our goal and our objective, and into shelters as quickly as possible, then into sponsored homes while their cases are being considered and adjudicated. Uh, we are trying to work through what was a dismantled and unprepared system because of the the, F, the role of the last administration. It's going to take some time, but we are very clear-eyed about what the problems are and very focused on uh, putting forward solutions. And I understand the idea of these facilities not being designed by children, but children being hungry, sleeping on the floor, not being allowed outside for days at a time. Why is that acceptable to go on even for one more day? Why is that something that's not being outlawed right now? How is the administration not stopping that today? Well, Yamisha, it's not acceptable. But I think the challenge here is that there are only there are not that many options. So the options are, and we have a lot of critics, but many of them are not putting forward a lot of solutions. The options here are send the kids back on the journey, send them to unvetted homes, or work to expedite moving them into shelters where they can get. Uh, health uh, treatment by medical doctors, by, uh, by educational resources, legal counseling, mental health counseling. That's exactly what we're focused on doing. And this is an across the administration effort that we are committed from the top to making changes on as quickly as possible.